Hi guys and welcome to another track guide video. Today we are at Alsace village in group 3 car. As you can see here I'm using the beetle uh, and kind of this is not my track what I'm usually good at so uh, the time is not that good but I think the references will help so let's get started. So let's get started. First thing I want to mention here is that you got to brake a little bit before the curb in front of you begins. So really hard braking zone and a little bit of trail braking here. Uh, this one is crucial because you, you want to carry a lot of speed onto this next section, uh, actually the big straight in front of you. So uh, just trying to make sure that I don't spin or just get the rear tires to spin. This is really important because this will lose you a lot of time. As you can see here, I kind of matched my previous uh, previous lap time. And into our next braking point, as you can see, I'm braking just when I pass the marker on the left. So try to brake in the straight line. So it's really crucial that you brake in the straight line and start to trail brake. Because if you're full on, fully on the brakes and you kind of start to turn, the car will slide and you will lose a lot of time. So uh, when you hit the curb, on the right this is the point when you slowly start to accelerate as you can see i got a little bit of oversteer here but i don't think i lost that much time uh, doing that you also want to carry a lot of speed in here and i want to mention something as you can see the tree on the right this is the point when it kind of kind of when the tree goes out of sight this is when i release the throttle and go back on it so it kind of helps but you can see you can decide whatever works for you so into our next section as you can see i'm braking at the 50 meter sign or when the curb in front of you uh, begins so try to clip the apex on the right but not too hard because you kind of uh, you can hit the fence so we try to try to optimize the entry speed and uh, the exit out of the corner so into our next section as you can see here, I'm braking just when I reach this sign on the right. So uh, a little bit of trail braking here and coasting for a while and back on the power as soon as you hit the curb on the left. So into our next section, as you can see here, um, it's a pretty tricky one. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but you just release the throttle and you want to stay kind of in the middle of the track. And as soon as you reach the end, this is the point when you fully go out. So into our last section of the track, as you can see here, uh, this one is kind of a really hard braking zone, but you wanna make sure that you hit the apex. So your braking zone is the apex of this corner. And you wanna be sure that you hit this apex again on the right, as you can see here. Also putting in a little bit of power will help to stabilize the car and get a better exit out of the corner because car this car really likes to slide. So. Uh, here just a little lift and back on the power so just release the throttle hit the apex and back on the power not nothing too much just a quick release and go back on the power and into this kind of where you can lose a lot of time and a lot of speed so braking when you see this uh, markers on the right so this white uh, the white line in the, in the middle of the track this is your braking point and try to hit the apex and back on the power as soon as you possibly can so Again, when uh, the, the white lines in the, in front of you end, this is the point where you just tap the brakes and go back on the power. And I crossed the finishing line in, uh, I would say, 151.413, which is not the best time, uh, to be honest, but I, I did my best. I'm not really good at this track, and I hope this video guide helped you. So if it did, please leave a like and subscribe as usual. So, guys, thank you for watching, and see ya!